Hello, this video is about uh, using the if statement uh, or the switch statement as control elements to decide further action in the program execution. They both uh, do approximately the same uh, job, but uh, there are some differences. Uh, the execution time can differ uh, somewhat, but uh, this is normally not uh, significant. Uh, your code regarding uh, readability, there I will say that uh, the switch statements sometimes result in a better readability. And the most significant difference is that the switch statement cannot be used with uh, comparison operators, like greater than, greater or equal than, uh, less than, equals, and so on. The program that will be used uh, to illustrate um, uh, the if and uh, switch structures will look like this. And um, we will uh, create code so that um, when, for instance, the bus uh, button is uh, clicked, then uh, it will turn red. And if the user then click on the show selected picture, it will show um, a picture of a bus here. Here we have the graphical user interface uh, um, shown in uh, the design view. And we have five buttons and we want to create um, a click event handler for each of them. So just double click on each uh, button uh, in design mode to create uh, these uh, click event handlers. When I start my program, I want the background color of uh, all these uh, four buttons uh, to be yellow. And uh, later when the user clicks on one of them, I want uh, it to change to red. But uh, since uh, only the clicked button should be have a red uh, background color, I will start by um, resetting all the four buttons uh, color to yellow before I uh, change it to red. And since uh, resetting uh, the background color to yellow is uh, something I have to do several times in my program, I should create a known method to do that uh, operation. I click on uh, the F7 button to go to code view. Uh, I will create uh, the method to uh, set the background color uh, so I can declare it as a void because it's not, not going to return any value, it's just going to perform some um, action. And um, I have to give it a name, I can name it set buttons back color. And I can also um, use a parameter to let uh, the user pass uh, a color value uh, to the method so that it, uh, the user can decide the background color on the buttons. Then I specify the type color and the uh, parameter name with where I can, for instance, use color with small c. And then we have to create the body of the method. Inside the body, I have to um, address uh, all my buttons. I can start with the uh, btn car and uh, dot to address the back color. I write uh, back color and I will set this to a new uh, value. And the value will, of course, be the value stored in this parameter. So I can just uh, copy that variable name down here. And then I will do exactly the same for all four buttons. Like uh, this, btn bus and btn no picture. When I um, call uh, this method, I can pass uh, a color and uh, that color will be set uh, as background color for all these four buttons. I can try if the, if the method works by calling it from uh, the constructor because the constructor method is uh, the first method that is run when the program starts. So inside there I can call the method but by writing the, the name of it, set uh, buttons back color. I have to use these par parentheses and inside the parentheses I have to specify the color I want to be set and uh, write color dot uh, light yellow for instance and a semicolon. Now we can click F5 to run the button to see what happens. And I see that these four um, buttons have um, a yellow background color and that is because we called this method with uh, this as an um, with a light yellow as uh, the argument value and um, this uh, color was passed to set buttons back color and used uh, to set uh, the back color of all uh, those four buttons. The next uh, thing to do is to create a click event handlers for these four buttons so that uh, the, their uh, background color will uh, change to red when somebody clicks on a button. So I can start with uh, this uh, to the left, BTM bus, uh, resetting all uh, the four background colors to yellow. And we have a method created for that purpose, so I call this set buttons back color, and the argument will be color dot uh, light yellow which is uh, the background color to be set and a semicolon and then I can set the uh, btn bus buttons uh, background color to red. 
we assign the value color dot uh, red to this uh, button like this. After having uh, copied uh, these instructions to uh, each uh, event handler, uh, I only have to change uh, this one to BTN car, this one to BTN lorry, and the last one to BTN no picture. The last uh, thing we will do is to test uh, which uh, color is uh, red, uh, which means uh, that it is uh, clicked on by the user. And for this uh, test, we will um, use uh, an if structure, and uh, later we will try the same with the switch structure. To start with if, I go to design mode and uh, double click on uh, this uh, show selected picture button. And I will create uh, the test uh, in an own method. I name uh, my method uh, testing if. Uh, I use empty parentheses because I don't want to uh, pass any values to any parameters. And I declare it as void because uh, I don't want uh, the method to return any value. So inside it, I will write my if structure. I start with if, and then inside uh, these uh, parentheses, I have to write my uh, test, my logical test. And what I want to test is uh, if uh, btm bus dot back color equals uh, color uh, dot red, because if that's the case, I know that somebody has clicked this button. And I use two equal signs to test if the value to the right equals the value to the, the left. And then I click enter and I write these curly brackets. If I only have one instruction, I don't have to use uh, these uh, curly brackets, but I advise you to use them anyway because uh, it makes uh, the code um, easier to read and it also makes it easier to add some instructions later. And uh, the instruction to be executed if uh, this test uh, is uh, true is to show uh, a picture uh, in a picture box, box named peak result. So we use this uh, picture box's load method. And the picture to be sh shown is um, named uh, uh, bus.png. Add a semicolon to end uh, the instruction. And I can add uh, as many tests uh, as I want. Uh, by writing else if and then the next uh, test and now I can test if uh, btn uh, car equals uh, color dot uh, red because uh, that means that this button is uh, clicked and I can uh, use these curly brackets and load another picture peak result dot load and uh, load the, the picture named car.png. And uh, these pictures are um, stored in the, the debug folder. So is, if this first um, test fails, then it will check this one instead. I forgot to write back color. I had only written btn car, but I have to test on back color if that one is of the color uh, color.red. Now I can just uh, copy this one and test btn lorry. And uh, if that test is true, I will load the picture lorry.png. I could also uh, make uh, an else if uh, structure for the last uh, condition, but um, since there are no uh, other alternatives, if uh, all these uh, three fails, I can also use uh, just else. Inside the, the else section, I want to write some instructions. Uh, I want to assign the value uh, null to um, the image property of the picture box, which means that uh, if uh, there um, is a picture in the picture box, it will be removed. I also uh, want to set the background color of um, the picture box to orange when there are no pictures to show. And uh, the last uh, thing I will do is to um, call uh, the show method of, the message, of a message box and uh, show the message you have not selected a picture to show. So that the user is um, informed that uh, he or she has to uh, make a selection. Then we have uh, finished uh, the method uh, named testing if, but if I run the program now, uh, nothing will happen because we haven't called it from anywhere. And we want to call it from this um, uh, btn show click event handler. I can uh, write testing if and empty parentheses because it had no parameters and a sem semicolon. 
You can click uh, the F5 button to run the program to test the solution. First I can uh, click on these buttons to see if they turn red, and they do. Then I can um, uh, select one of them, Lorry, and click on the show selected picture to see if the picture is shown. And it is. I can click on car, OK, and bus, OK. And I can click on no picture and then show selected picture. And the picture is removed and uh, a message box is shown uh, that says uh, you have not selected the picture to show. That means that everything worked as expected. Before we end uh, this uh, session, we will also uh, try uh, the switch uh, instruction instead of the if instruction. We will create a new uh, method. Uh, this will not return any value. And we can uh, name it uh, test uh, switch, and it will have no parameters. Uh, the switch instruction will test uh, the content of a variable. So I will introduce a variable. Since this is a global variable or an instance variable, I will put it um, just uh, uh, under the class name. Here I have a class form one. Uh, I make a new line here and uh, declare my variable. It will be a string variable and I can uh, name it selected vehicle. Since I declare it here uh, outside uh, all my uh, methods, uh, it means that it will be available, uh, its value will be available for all uh, the methods. I go to the click event handlers for um, the four buttons. I start with the BTN bus and um, write selected vehicle and I set its value to uh, uh, bus, which is a string. I can copy this one. I can go to the next one and um, do exactly the same, just um, change um, bus to car. And if the users uh, click on BTN lorry, we will set it to um, lorry, like that. I can go uh, up to the place I declared it and uh, give it uh, an initial value. And here I will initialize it to an empty string. I go uh, back to my method and uh, I write uh, switch, which is the keyword we will use. And in parentheses, we tell uh, the program what is going to be tested. And we want to test uh, the content of this uh, variable, which will be a string of some kind. And if the value is uh, car, then somebody has clicked on the, the car button. I write colon and we will specify the instructions. And the instruction, if uh, somebody has clicked uh, this button, is uh, to load the picture car.png. And if I look at this uh, error mes message, I see that control cannot fall out of switch from final case label. And the case um, only able to fall through to the next statement if we use uh, either break, continue, uh, go to, or return. So, uh, most commonly we use break. So if selected vehicle um, contains uh, the value car, it will do this instruction. And then we just uh, continue to test. We want to test uh, if uh, it contains uh, the value bus instead. Copy this one and change car PNG to bus PNG. And the third uh, alternative is uh, lorry. So if a selected vehicle uh, contains lorry, it will uh, load the picture lorry.png. And we cannot use uh, else like we did in if, but it has uh, a similar uh, instruction which is named default. So I write default and colon, and then I can tell uh, what is going to happen. If uh, none of these uh, three uh, returns true, then it will go down here. As we did uh, for the if, um, we set the image uh, property of peak result, the picture box, to null, so that we remove any pictures it, it uh, contains. And we set the background color of the picture box to uh, orange, if it has no picture inside it. And then we also uh, inform the user uh, by showing a picture box with the message you have not selected the picture to show. And we see this uh, error message, which means that we have to uh, define a fall through. And we do that by writing a break. To test uh, this uh, method, we go to the click event handler of uh, BTN show, and we have to call uh, the method. I named it uh, test um, switch, and we don't want to run uh, testing if this time, so I just comment it so that uh, the compiler will ignore it. Uh, it will now run 
test switch, jump up here and uh, do these uh, statements. So I click the F5 button to test the program. I click on bus, show selected picture, that worked. The next one worked and lorry worked. No picture, show, uh, no picture and uh, show selected picture and we get uh, this message box. Uh, you have not selected the picture to show. So we have now um, shown uh, two different ways of um, performing tests on different uh, conditions by using uh, either an if structure or a switch structure.